poncho? Poncho, where have you been? Are you okay? I'm poor. Oh, well, you have packages, so. Oh, okay. Oh, well, let's open them, I guess. Damn, son, where'd you find this? If there's anything you want, if there's anything you need, Quick Feelings Delivery brings it to you here with speed. Yes, our speedy delivery is a speedy delivery. Speedy delivery to you. Hey everybody, how's it going? Ponchezy here coming at you with a very long overdue episode of Speedy Delivery Mail Halls. Uh, so sorry I've been away for a long time. You know, honestly, the bottom line is I just honestly haven't been <laughs> ordering a lot over the last couple of months, but that's all changed, son. These two packages right here, I've been waiting three months for these right here. Um, I am so stoked for these. Uh, this is going to be really cool. Uh, but this, there's some stuff in here that I've been wanting for such a long time, and I'm like... <laughs> I'm bugging out right now, uh, but right here. This is just the uh, this is just a package from Amazon really cool uh, And then let's go ahead and get this one out of the way first It's a box. What is this? <laughs> oh snap, okay. Oh, whoa. No way Okay, so this I'm not sure who this one is right here. Let's just go over that right there uh, But these oh my god, yo, these are dope. Holy cow Yo, these are huge <laughs> Holy shit. These are clearly <laughs> Marvel Legends. These are like the the new well, new. Uh like they're they're a couple of months old by now, but these are the new-ish, like 12-inch versions of Marvel Legends. Uh this must be Captain America. I am so shocked that he is in a shipper. Why is he in a shipper? Oh my god. <laughs> yep, that's uh Captain America. Nice. All right, yo, I, I really like these, man. Uh, see, when these first were announced, I was like, all right, what's the big deal? But, you know, having these in hand, these are really, really nice. The packaging even is really, really cool. It's got this nice, like, hollow foil type deal going on. And these are really, really dope. Uh, these were on Amazon for, like, $15 each. <laughs> and that's, like, honestly the only reason I bought them, because I know these guys are, like, $50 retail or something like that. Um, but on Amazon last week, uh, I know they had the Iron Man on sale for 15 bucks. Captain America was probably like 16 or whatever. But then Spider-Man was like sold out pretty much all day. And then like literally right before I was going to sleep, I was laying in bed, you know, just chilling on my phone. And I had these two guys in the cart, like in my shopping cart, just ready to go. Uh, and I was about to order them. And then in the related, it showed that the Spider-Man was restocked at, I think like 22 or 20, $20, I don't know, something like that, something along those lines. And I, I don't know about you, but I was feeling 22. <laughs> and I went ahead and picked them up because $22 is a lot more, a lot better than uh, like this, his normal price tag. And I got all three of these for about the same price as I would have paid for one of them. And I'm really, really stoked. Uh, even though I don't, like I said, I don't really fuck with 12 inch figures that much. Um, this could possibly be something. I could do like a whole bunch of really cool, like multi-scale display type stuff or whatever, but it's just really dope to have these and I'm pretty excited to see uh, what I can uh, do with some of these. I've seen uh, some people do some cool stuff. I saw Boog do something pretty dope with these, but um, pretty excited to have these. All right, and what? Oh my God, I see it right now. This is, <laughs> Uh, if you've been uh, like following me on Instagram for a while or if you're just like my friend in general You know that I am like huge into cells. I'm not like a big huge collector of cells But I just love animation cells period and uh, I got this and this is something that I have my eye on for such a long time uh, This is oh my god like seeing it right now like in my face. This is the most beautiful cell <laughs> probably own right now this is amazing and it's huge look how huge this thing is man this is unbelievable obviously this is from Hajime no Ippo this is such a great sell it's like oh my god the art is so good I think yes it comes with a dog on the back yo look at this this is one of the best looking sketches dogas I've seen probably ever man like this is so detailed like the art in Hajime no Epe, like is already really good but seeing it in like its raw form like this is unprecedented right now and 
Yo, I can't believe how good this looks. Holy shit. Okay, I need to, I need to like, I need to do something. I need to like put it down. I'm having a moment. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on top of here. If, if you guys want to see me do a video on animation cells, like I have a few, like there's some Dragon Ball ones up there and then there's some more Hajime no Oba ones over there. Um, but if you guys want to see me do a video on like the animation cells I have or something or why I like animation cells, let me know uh, because I'd be more than happy to do it. I'm just not really sure what the, you know, what, what the want for something like this, you know, honestly is. But I'm super excited to have this. I, I just need to find a frame for it now. <laughs> Here we go. The, uh, the main course, the, the coup de gras, the cream of the crop, son. I, wish I, I really wish I had some little creamers right about now. <laughs> Whew, like I said, this package right here, three months in the making, uh, as well as this, th these are both from the same place, um, but there was just a lot of stuff going on and I wasn't able to pay for this stuff. Uh, uh, luckily, the service I used was very, very lenient and they let me just chill for a while until I was able to get everything in order. And um, I am so excited for all the stuff that's in here. It's, it's unbelievable. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. Oh my god, I already see the first thing. I'm a little upset with all the packing peanuts. Obviously, you know, I don't really fuck with packing peanuts, but <laughs> it's it's okay. Oh my god, it's okay. <laughs> all right, so here we go. First up. Yes. Oh my god, yes. All right. Oh my god, this is such... This is long overdue. Oh my god, look how great this looks. <laughs> I'm having like a moment here. Yes. Uh, obviously, for those of you who don't know, this is uh, the first issue of Zero from Mega Man X1. Um, this is the only uh, Mega Man X like normal release figure that I don't have. Uh, when I first got into this line, the DR line, he was already going for a little bit uh, much for me, and um, I just waited and I waited, and unfortunately he just got too much, but I, I saw him on this auction site and I had to pull the trigger. The only thing bad about this is his hair piece is like, I guess it kind of like broke, so there's like super glue and stuff in here, and his hair is kind of like super glued to his head, which, you know, honestly is fine for me. Um, I really don't mind. I just, I, Mega Man X is literally my favorite game <laughs> on the entire planet. It's my, it's my most favorite game of all time. And to finally have this version of Zero is like a dream come true. Like I said, this is the only normal release that I didn't, that I don't own. Uh, I don't own the Sigma, but he's kind of like a statue. I mean, obviously I don't fuck with statues, but the Sigma I will probably get just because to, to, to you know, complete the set at this point. And then I'm missing the, uh, the New York Comic Con, like metallic Mega Man X. And I think he's like, he's like a buck 25 now, uh, but I've seen him go for like $60 on auction. So I'm just waiting for the right time to pull the trigger on him. But I'm so excited about this right here. Um, I got this for $10. I'm so excited. I'm ecstatic about this. It's unreal. And the reason it was so low was because like the, uh, the packaging, where is it? Yeah. Like the packaging, there's like some weird shit on here. I don't know what is on here, but like, it's like super cloudy and stuff. And the grading on the packaging was really, really bad, but the grading on the figure was, was almost really, really great, except for like that hair thing. And I think the hair like obviously made the grading like, like knock down like a couple of grade, a, a couple of like letter grades. And that's why he was selling it so cheap, but that's why it was going for so cheap. But I can't believe I got it for so little, like, I am so stoked on this. It's unreal. And the fact that Mega Man X is like now in like uh, the new Marvel vs. Capcom, like it's just, I'm so glad that Mega Man X is on the brain of everybody again. And just, you know, man, more people need to play this, play this game. This looks so great. I can't wait to, I can't wait to recreate this. This is going to be like the greatest thing in the entire world. <laughs> What else is in here? Oh my god, I totally forgot that I ordered this stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get some smaller stuff out of the way first. <gasps> Holy shit. I totally forgot. I forgot. I totally forgot I ordered this stuff too. Oh my god. All right, okay. This whole speedy delivery is like everything, all my favorite things in one episode. I think that's what I'm going to call this episode. Like... <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know, but this is all my favorite things happening in one episode. So, um, obviously, uh, 
the main thing I love is Dragon Ball Z, but uh, there's an anime, like you saw in the cell I got, uh, the anime Hajime no Ippo is like my second favorite thing of all time. Like, I don't, I, I honestly believe that if I didn't have such a strong childhood presence of Dragon Ball Z, like Hajime no Ippo would, would eclipse that love for me. And I just think it's just because of the, the legacy I have with Dragon Ball, like it, it just makes it more special to me. But like Hajime no Ippo is literally on the same caliber as Dragon Ball to me. And I love Hajime no Ippo as much as I like Dragon Ball. It's unbelievable. So, um, like if you were following speed deliveries for a while, you know that, you know, the, I chronicled my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my search for the uh, the Epoch Hajime no Ippo figures, uh, which are still not open because I'm like super scared to open them, or I just want to like savor the moment. I, I want to film a really great review for when I open them. Um, but when it comes to the statues, I never really got the statues. I think I've done a. I think I put put it in an episode where I got the Miata uh, statue, but. Um, nothing else and these statues go for some serious money it's unbelievable look at this yo this brian hawk is so dope like there's obviously some stuff like bugging like there's a uh, some scuffs on him and whatnot i don't i don't give a fuck i don't care that there's scuffs on him i could give a shit less um <laughs> there's like a scuff on his leg right there i don't i don't care i, I don't care this brian hawk looks so cool like I never really thought I would get into like static statues or static figures. Uh, obviously, statues are static, <laughs> but uh, I never thought I'd get into static uh, figures of any other line except Dragon Ball. But these Hajime no Ippo figures are so cool, uh, and I got these at such a discounted price. Like I couldn't not buy them because I know that I would never ever try I would I don't think I'd ever buy these at the at their current like asking price of like complete and like full with the box and everything because that is just a lot a lot a lot of money oh god my knife almost hit me uh but getting these guys loose was was totally fine I don't mind at all and I think the I think the Date is like missing a piece if I'm not mistaken I think he, no, he's missing like his uh cape or like his like a uh, shawl or whatever but this brian hawk i think he's might be missing one other thing but i got these guys both for i think like 50 bucks so uh and that is like way better than their current asking price of like i think they go for like five bills or something like that like it's it's something crazy i can't remember off the top of my head because i'm bugging out so much but these figures are so cool to me i love them so much like you can see over there i have the miata kind of hard to see hold on let's go right there yeah i have the miata right there so i'm pretty excited um and i can't wait to just find it find a way to display all of these like that ring obviously isn't big enough to, to put everybody in there but i really want to go ahead and dedicate some space to these guys because i really 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 love these figures all right you can see there's there's a trend going on in this uh in this package right here uh, a lot of hajime no Ippo stuff um Hajime no Ippo stuff is always so hard to come by here in the States that whenever I do like these big like packages from like from like Yahoo Auctions Japan and stuff like that, I have to get like s just any kind of Hajime no Ippo stuff because I know that I wouldn't really find it here in the States. And these are like little keychains. These, these are so nice. These little keychains are so nice. There's obviously Ippo right here. There's Date right here. And there's Volg right here. Another Ippo. Um, here's Mashiba right here. Um, Sendo is right here. Um, dude, like uh, Takamura, obviously, right here. Really, really dope. These are all so cool. Like this little, I just, I love shit like this. <laughs> I don't know why. Like even like the, like I'm, I can't even talk right now. Like I'm bugging out about this package so much. I loved, I, like I was saying, I just love like dumb shit like this. Like these little keychains. Like I'm just going to. The doubles I'm gonna give to like my friends who love like Hajime no Ippo. There's a, there's one one dude. So Marcus, if you're watching this, you know you got one coming your way. <laughs> um, but like I am so stoked on getting some of this stuff. So there's only one thing left, or like one, I guess a, a one one like big thing, and uh, I'm super stoked on it. All right, so oh shit, they're all like together. Nope, kinda. Damn it. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and. Take them all out then. It's all the same. At 
few inches later. One eternity later. Okay, so these right here are obviously, as you can see, these are the Ginyu Force Dramatic Showcase figures right here. So as soon as these were unveiled, I knew I, <laughs> I, I knew I had to have it, son. <laughs> I knew I had to go ahead and pick these up. They were going for quite a bit, and I was kind of hesitant to drop like almost like. $200 on all of them, but I found a really great auction. This guy obviously, you know, discounted them because the boxes are all kind of messed up. Um, the Guldo is kind of messed up, and I think, uh, I think that's it. It's just the Ginyu that was like super messed up, but in the description, I remember he wrote like, you know, discount for box damage or whatever, but I got, I got all of these for super cheap. I think it was like 50 bucks for all five of these. So the, the, I mean, obviously $10 each for, for these, like it's unbelievable. It's unreal. Um, and I, I have a feeling that these will scale relatively well with the SH figure arts and I really want to put them in a great display and you know I'm just super stoked for this this <laughs> this haul right here so we got the keychains right there we got the statues up there there's the D arts zero quite possibly the greatest sell I've ever owned and these Big ass Marvel Legends. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you, this is probably the greatest Speedy Delivery Meal haul I've probably had in a very long time. Like, in terms of just like consistency of how great everything in this package was, like, I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> Can't forget these guys. But yeah, like I was saying, like, this is <laughs> consistently such a solid, solid package. Like, this is what I envisioned for this series when I first started it. Like, really, really, really great shit <laughs> and I just I I'm so grateful to have this stuff I'm so grateful for like all of you guys that like watch this series and like even go as far as like asking about it and where it's been and I'm really glad I can make this series for you and you know if you guys have any questions comments or concerns as always you guys can go ahead and let me know in the comment section below I mean even if you just want to pop in and just you know kind of start a conversation you know ask some questions you know whatever I just I just really like talking to all you guys it's super fun so uh, like I was saying like I've been saying the whole episode thank you so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed my content and thank you so much for supporting everybody Everything I do, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Speedy Delivery Mail Halls. Peace.